show you some of our citrus plants we have here. Here's uh, one species of citrus. This one here is an orange and it's got a wicked spines on it. See the spines on that one? Okay, and uh, this one here is Meyer lemon and you can definitely see that it needs fertilizer. It's a nice plant, but uh, I, gotta, I gotta feed it. There's a little lemon coming right there. And uh, I have another one down here. Wendy and I have a bunch of citrus plants. Let's go down to this lower deck here. <laughs> and this one needs fertilizer badly too. We've had a lot of rain. So here's another Meyer lemon. With a little lemon forming on it there. And there's another lemon forming there. But you can see how yellow the leaves are. Kind of embarrassing. But And then there's another lemon there. They're really good lemons. So I'm going to have to uh, transplant it and hit it with some fertilizer. And there is a pumelo I've had for years in that pot. And um, we have there's some avocados in here too. And then we have a kumquat over here. That's a kumquat. And that actually produces little kumquats. So that's kumquat. And then up in the back here we have a huge... I'll run up here because my battery chip is just about used up the memory. We have a big orange tree here and we actually have some hardy ones in the ground as well. This stayed out all winter without any heat but it was underneath a tarp. So there's another big orange tree there. I don't know the variety. My buddy grew that from seed and he's had it for years and he always kept it outside close to the house when it got cold. And uh, this one we put in a sheltered spot when it got cold but it stayed out all winter. So it's another one of our orange trees. So. That's a video for somebody that wanted to see our orange trees and lemon trees. And another time I'll do one on our hardy ones in the ground. We have another one out back too. Actually, Wendy's got a contorted curly uh, citrus tree in the back, the pot. And then we have two in the ground as well. So, All right, thanks for watching.